Good day, mate. 40 here. So, if there's anything good about this show, right, if I have any positive tendencies, if I make any contribution, if I am adding anything to your life, if I add anything to your understanding about what's going on in the world, what's going on inside of you, right, this is only true essentially to the extent that I'm emotionally honest. Right? If you're emotionally honest, then when something doesn't make sense, either you don't have the information you need, or people are lying to you. So, things like crypto, alright? Doesn't seem to make sense. Right? A lot of the arguments don't hold up. And so, that may just be because many of crypto's biggest boosters are lying to you. Like Sam Bankman Free just got all sorts of positive press. Why did he get positive press? Because he was on the left and he presented himself as a person trying to do good things on the Democratic Party and so the left controls, dominates the media. So he got a ton of good press because he was aligned with the predominant values of the news media. So, if you looked at Sam Bankman Fried and FTX and thought, I don't understand how they're making money, this doesn't make sense, then that's because they were lying to you. The news media was lying to you. Right? So, when I hear people tell me, oh, you know, I'm always honest, I'm always upright, you know, I always do the right thing, right? those people are lying to me, obviously. But most important of all, they're lying to themselves. And so, if you lie to yourself, you're going to be really lousy at detecting when other people are lying to you. But if you're honest with yourself, then it's going to ping for you when other people are lying to you. Then you notice some people are really good at detecting when other people are lying to them. That's because they're honest with themselves. Other people are terrible at noticing when other people are lying to them and manipulating them. That's because they're not honest with themselves. So this also applies to the news. Right? You read the news and it doesn't make sense. Right? The whole crypto boom, FTX boom doesn't make sense. That's because people are lying to you. If the uh, transsexual revolution does not seem to you like a good thing, it's because the people who are telling you that it's a good thing are lying to you. The World Cup is in Qatar. That doesn't make sense. That's because people are lying to you. Right, Qatar only achieved the World Cup by bribing people. All right. So, as soon as it announced that the World Cup would be played in Qatar, you immediately started thinking of 10 reasons why this is a really bad idea. All right. Those people who are telling you it was a good idea were lying to you. Right, FIFA was lying to you. FIFA was essentially bought off. Right, FIFA is incredibly corrupt. And that's also how the world works. If there are decisions made in your business, in your line of work, in your school, in your community that don't make any sense, that's because they're, and you're emotionally honest, it's because either there's information that you don't know, or people are lying to you. So, Qatar getting the World Cup is a great example of how much of the world works, right? By things going on behind the scenes, Secret deals, skullduggery, right? all sorts of things that don't make sense, that are bad for soccer in this instance, right? bad for the fans, bad for the world. Right? Why did this happen? Because a small number of people got bribed. So a lot of things happen because you've got a small number of people who are able to make things happen even if it's bad for the group. Right, so the incentives for corporations aren't exactly the same as the incentives for meeting individuals in a corporation. The incentives for a group are not the same as the individual incentives for people who dominate the group. So when you ask who benefits, then that's a great way of opening up how the world works. Like who benefits from this scam? Who benefits from Qatar getting the World Cup? Uh, obviously Qatar benefits, but 
the people who made the decision and got paid off, right, they benefited and everyone else gets screwed. So there are all sorts of public issues where the general public good has no constituency, such as free speech. It's not really much of a free speech coalition with a lot of funding. Right? So there are all these very specialized, well-funded groups who have an interest in restricting speech, such as the Anti-Defamation League. And they're funded and they're organized and they're highly competent. And so the people who are opposing them are not nearly as well-funded frequently not as competent and may not even be as strongly motivated. So you've got a public good, free speech, but those people who are lined up to protect the public good, right? they don't have the funding, they don't have the incentives, they don't have the motivation and uh, very likely don't have the competency to, you know, to pull things off.